While inside, officers located unsafe and unsanitary living conditions, including garbage and spoiled food on the floor, animal and human feces, and a large amount of debris making areas of the house unpassable. We were able to interview eight of the children. The children described incidents of intentional abuse resulting in puncture wounds, burns, bruising, and injuries consistent with being shot with a pellet gun or a BB gun. I'm horrified by um, the statements that were given by these children. We are now um, in this process and we have the children first and foremost in our minds. I was taken into custody. I was arrested the night that um, I called the police to find my son. They arrested me um, with 10 felony counts of child endangerment with great bodily harm or death because they said that my home was dirty. And then I got a restraining order, a domestic violence restraining order, to where I cannot be around my children because my house was dirty. Is he disciplined? Does he hit them? No, he is actually, I am the one that's the disciplinarian. He's too nice. Like, he's too busy playing Minecraft on, like, with them for hours. And I'm the one saying, like, no, no, no. You guys got to do your chores. You're not doing it in the corner. I'm the disciplinarian because he's the nice guy. You know, I'm going to try to get a lawyer and do the best that I can to get the best defense for my husband because that's all anyone just needs to look into it. Just take my kids to the doctor alone and all of these torture allegations will fall away because there's no broken bones, there is no major scars, no nothing. My kids get bumped and bruised and scratched because they're kids, but that's it. I have to get a lawyer, but they raised the bill to five million. What? So I have to five million? Yeah.